Hello and welcome to episode 27 of Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. I'm Bill. And I'm Ian. We're Bill and Ian play games. Of all the battles in the war so far, the contest for Fort Pinnell is the fiercest to date. And from this horrific clash of weapons and wills, the Crimean army emerges bloodied and exhausted, yet victorious. The prize of Fort Fort, Fort Pinnell is it's not on the ocean, though. No, it can't it's be not. Important. It's right in the middle there. <laughs> The prize of Fort Pinnell is no small thing, but it's the promise of, an ad of additional reinforcements from Gallia and the large Benyan army encamped in Castle Dayan that keeps the breath of hope alive in the soldiers' hearts. There is one other pivotal piece in Dayan's defense of the former Crimean capital, a severely undermanned Castle Nados. As the day's end draws near, Tybarn's small force of hawks and galleons cease their attacks and return to camp headquarters. going home chapter yeah moment of fate that is an intense name it is i think something might happen nah i don't know what though ah well met from the look of from the looks of things the battle ended in our favor what was the hint that we made it back <laughs> the x not dead we claimed victory yet dayan had more troops than we expected and it was a hard-fought battle i don't have the best news to report either what is it? As the day ended, we withdrew as planned. But as we were leaving, reinforcements began flooding in from the capital. Hmm. That's a piece of ill news. The men that were originally guarding the castle were nothing special, but... There was one who appeared mid-battle and crushed an entire unit by himself. Hmm. He was so much stronger than the others. It was as if a wolf had appeared in a kennel of blind newborn pups. What did he look like? He was covered from toe to tip in black armor. That made it difficult to judge his size, but I think he was bigger than me. Jesus. Tybart <laughs> is so big. He's so tall. If my intuition's right, he's the villain you've all been talking about. See, that's kind of one of my favorite things about uh, Fire Emblem Heroes, is because I feel like I get to live that fantasy. They with... spelled villain wrong. Oh. Nice. <laughs> I get to live that fantasy with the Black Knight. Because, like, half the time it's like, okay, there are five dudes over there, and I send in the Black Knight, and they all just run in and can't hurt him, and they all just <laughs> die. It's like, oh, yes. Yes, this is what I wanted. The Black Knight is in that castle. We're going. We're I guess. There. Hey, last battle. Oh, no, we didn't spend very much money. We didn't spend enough money at all. What? Got a lot of bonus XP. Did. Hint, hint, Dump win. it all into Alincia. Oh, boy. No, there, there's one other unit that they kind of want you to buff up. Uh, but I don't think we're going to do that. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. I really hate the sell items. Like, that we can't just sell out of people's inventories is so... Ah. Oh, okay. We found the good weapons. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> what does she have? Her. Why am I bothering with... I don't know. ...cheap weapons? <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know. You should give everyone a stiletto. They don't have to be able to use it. That's just making our statement to the enemy. We're very rich. I guess. Oh yeah, we could give him the tornado. Oh, he still can't use the tornado. Well that Man, that tome still sucks. Yeah, wind magic. Wind is magic ass. is whack. Well, I guess we can use that after we level up from using Mr. Blowy. Yeah. Oh, can we give Lethe her Demi Van back? Well, that or we just give her a Laguz Stone, because I think we've been saying for a while that she might just not want the Demi Band since she starts chapters transformed. You're right. And so she'll be, like, useful until we get to the end. Wow, we only get one Laguz Stone? I think Mordecai has one. You're right. Oh, and now we could equip her with the Bjork Guard. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, there she is. Alright, now she's... Intense. Yeah, I was gonna say she'll she's gonna be a tough girl now. Uh, I feel like we dropped the ball by not going deep on uh, 
fire magic anywhere, so we can't use the meteor. Right. Speaking um, of, we should get uh, Ileana that other bolting out of the storage. That's a great idea. That's my, uh... That's your Robin impression? That's my Robin impression. Apparently she can double attack with the Silver Blade, I guess we're... <laughs> I guess that's cool. Yeah, right? So, is Alencia a required unit? No. Okay. She might be required in the last chapter, I forget. I don't know. I can just send her to the back and ignore her. Oh, I must protect. Well, no, you protect by killing everyone so no one gets within 15 squares of her. Fair. Are you gonna tell me to dump all my... What? Oh, right, that's her class. I just yeah. saw Princess Krebia and I was like, what? Are you gonna tell me to dump all my XP into Ike? I mean, maybe not all of it, but... He could do to be a, a bit stronger. The thing is, like, his strength is capped, so he's not gonna get that much stronger. Right. He has three capped stats yes. already. The skill is what we're gonna get. That's cool. Oh, man. Our Ike and Radiant Dawn is gonna be cool. He's gonna be so hot. Because for viewers at home who don't know, if you import save data from Path of Radiance, it changes a few character interactions based on, like, A supports and stuff like that. But the important thing is that for every stat that you capped in Path of Radiance, the unit in Radiant Dawn comes with that stat plus two. Ooh. So, like, if Nephany would spawn with eight... Oh! If she'd spawn with... I don't know, what is Neph Captain? Uh, it, like, if Nephany would spawn with ten skill in the next game, instead she'll spawn with twelve. Nice. Uh, does Dolphin support importing save It data? does. Ooh. Which surprised me. You're Especially because right. it was, like, very easy. Like, the game found uh. its own save file. Like, I just started up Radiant Dawn, and it was like, you want this save file? And I'm like, well, yeah, I guess. Yeah, cool. Especially because it's like, uh, the game still thinks that it's searching a GameCube memory card. Ah. Uh. Like, I did not expect that to work, but... Mm-hmm. Emulation is not... Yeah. Ooh. Uh, Largo's kind of shaping up to be better than Boyd. He's large. <laughs> and in charge. Yep. And now we dump the rest into Alincia and have our powerful level 4 princess <laughs> I was gonna say, it's, just, it's still not gonna get her very far. Oh, he maxed his skill. <laughs> oh, I bet. <laughs> Don't do this to me. Oh, Reese is also capped in multiple things. Wow, his skill cap is low. Yeah. <laughs> the caps in this game are weirdly low to me. Right? Like, Ike capping at 26 strength is odd. Well, I think Ephraim caps at 27. Mm. And Ephraim is, like, beefy. Mm -hmm. Alright, I think we're good on... Oh! Oh, wait, that's Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I almost made a horrible mistake, viewers. <laughs> Just put a bunch of... Well, not a bunch of resources, but... All yeah, right. sure. It had to be done. It did. I, I, I felt the... Alright, Soren's fired. <laughs> I felt the instant gratification. Man, we have so many skill cap units. Yeah, and they're all like level 12. Like, they're gonna cap more stats. Right. The poor... Oh, sure. That seems nice. Sure, why not? You're the sucker who has to read both, so... Oh, you're right. Hmm. Are you looking for someone, your highness? Jeffrey, I'm glad you're here. Is there anything I can do for you? Yes, actually. I have a small favor to ask of you. Ask anything of me, your highness, and I shall make it so. Really? You would do anything? Oh dear. Anything at all. Well, then here goes. Jeffrey, I need you to leave me alone while I fight on the battlefield. What? Without protection? But you know that is the one thing I cannot... I don't want to hear any objections. This is in order. You must obey. But, Princess Alencia... Oh no. Right? You got told to buzz off. Ooh. Wait. Oh, oh okay. Okay. I got super confused. <laughs> yeah, I was but... like, whoa, are they gonna get an S? Are they gonna get married? Ooh. Is it? Oh, right, you're Har. Captain Har! Where are you? Captain Har! 
Yeah. Huh? What? Who? Oh, Jill. Simmer down, Jill. Can't you see I'm sleeping? Do you need to shout my name like that? You're louder than a meat skewer salesman in a crowded market. Maybe you should try responding when I call you. I'll do that as soon as you stop calling me Captain. How should I address you, then? Whatever works for you. Sir Har, maybe? Do I look like a knight to you? <laughs> I mean, kinda. kinda. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Mr. Har. Ah, that doesn't sound right at all. He's not a gentleman. No. Fine. Just Har, then. Hey, that's pretty good. Sorry, I can't address my superior like that. I'll just call you Mr. Har. Well, I can live with that. Now, let me get back to my nap. Fun fact, uh, my first boss at my job, I like, I always called him Mr. His last name. Because I was like, oh, he's my boss, I better be very respectful. Because I was like a student employee and stuff. But, uh, that was silly. I, I, get... I, I got over that pretty quick. Oh, we're not going to support Toronio and Largo? Alright, I guess we can support Toronio and Largo. You... <laughs> I feel like this is like an Alex Louise Armstrong and, uh, what's his name? The, the alchemist. Oh, yeah, I know, I know the yeah. character you're talking about. The other large man. Yeah, they're just like, we can respect each other over our large muscles. Wait, who, who voices the characters? I'll be Largo and you can be Tyronia, because I forget. <laughs> Perfect. That's strange. Hey, Tyronia! Hmm? Don't you think this army's a little odd? I mean, heck, it's not every day that you see soldiers from this many countries all mixed into one army. I've traveled and fought in a lot of strange places, but this is the first time I've seen anything quite like this. You're right. There are even former Dayan soldiers in this army. There are a lot of them. Yeah. There's no shortage of nationalities, to be sure. My favorite part about it is that we get to sample all kinds of exotic dishes. Wah! I've never snacked so well in my life! Now that I think about it, I think you were Largo, because I remember you talking about being a world-class berserker. See, but I also just say that all the time because it's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, I know. What are you holding? This quill? Oh, I use it to jot down ideas so I won't forget them later. If I don't, I just completely forget them. Relatable. But back to food. I've noticed that the Lagoos sure like their food spicy. And now they've started drinking with us! Wahaha, <laughs> that's great! By the way, what's your drink of choice? Drinks? I'm not picky. The stronger the better. Oh, yes. And flavor? Doesn't matter. <laughs> I like your answer. I better write that down so I don't forget. Okay, I like these two. What a weirdo. They're so manly. Right. Alright. Info. Talk to Titania. Commander, can I speak to you for a moment? What is it, Titania? I have... Something important to ask of you. Alright, what is it? I want you to tell me about the night Commander Grail was killed. I understand that it's difficult for you. However, I need to know. I have to. Just tell it once. It's all I ask. If you can't, I... His death will be something I'll never be able to face. I feel I've done you a terrible disservice by not telling you earlier. It's just that... There was a lot I had to get clear in my own mind. I know I've kept you waiting. So you'll tell me? Yes, I think I've finally come to a point where I can face it. Alright, whenever you're ready. That night, I've already told you everything up to where I was on my way into the forest, right? At the head of the path, Father had told me to go back to the fort, but I had a bad feeling and followed him anyway. When I entered the clearing, he and the Black Knight were already fighting. They seemed to be evenly matched at first. Then they exchanged a few more blows, and suddenly Father was sent flying. They spoke to each other for a moment, but I was so far away I couldn't hear what they said. Then the Black Knight threw a sword at Father's feet. I think he wanted Father to pick it up and use it. Father didn't touch the sword. He just readied his axe again and charged. It was over in an instant. I, I couldn't believe my own eyes. They... They looked like they were embracing, just standing there, frozen. But I saw the Black Knight's blade. It was protruding from Father's back and shining in the moonlight. 
Oh, Grail. When the Black Knight pulled his sword out, Father sagged and fell backwards. I ran and tried to catch him, but I couldn't hold him, and we both fell to the ground. That's fair, Ike. Grail was a... Large. The wound Father had taken was terrible, but at that point he was still alive. The Black Knight approached and said, Give it to me. I had no idea what he was talking about. I do now, though. He had been sent by King Ashnard to retrieve the medallion. Father told him he'd thrown the medallion away, but the knight didn't believe it. Then he tried to get Father to talk by threatening to kill me, and missed. I was so angry, I leapt up and attacked him, but it was useless. I didn't give up, though. I didn't care what happened to me, and I attacked again. All the stubbornness. King Gallia hadn't been nearby, I probably would have died that night. After the Black Knight vanished, I simply... All I could think was that I didn't want Father to die. He... He was still alive. I thought if I could just get him back to the fort, we could save him. I clung to that false hope, and started walking toward the light of the fort. I just kept walking. Thank you, Ike. It must have been so hard for you. Titania. Commander Grail died on your back. The last moments must have been much happier than I had imagined. Thank you. Now I can finally move past my grief. Tanya. Yes? I, um, there's something else I haven't told you about. I met him. I met the Black Knight again. What? We fought. You did well to keep your life. I'm not the same boy I was on that night. I've grown a lot. I've worked hard. You can tell his armor's different. Yeah. Yet, even so, I wasn't able to defeat him. There's nothing you can do about that. Not even Commander Grail could defeat him. You're not ready to... It's not that. It's not that my blade work wasn't good enough. Then, what do you mean? Tanya, it's his armor. It's impervious to damage. What? That's not possible. Even the strongest... He said his armor had been blessed by the goddess. He said only weapons that were also blessed could hurt him. Where are we supposed to get something like that? I have one here. Ah, Ike, that sword... where...? The night after Father died, I went back to that clearing by myself. I'd hoped to... I'd hoped to find some clues that might help me hunt down the knight. The sword was still there. I brought it back with me, and I've been hiding it ever since. I wasn't thinking about using it. I believed that if I just carried the sword with me, I'd meet the Black Knight again. And it worked. So the sword will work against him? It's supposed to. It was made to contest a Londite, which is the sword wielded by the Black Knight. That's not really true. Mm. Do you think you have a chance? I'll win. Alright, I won't stop you. Use that sword to avenge Commander Grail. Listen, Ike, you must promise me one thing. What is it? When you meet him, you'll exchange blows. If, at that moment, you don't feel you stand a chance, you must flee. There are times when running away is not the same as losing. Don't you believe in me, Titania? Of course I do. One day, you will defeat the Black Knight. I'm sure of it. That's why I don't want you to lose your life on the first go-around. When the time comes, I promise not to interfere. And I won't let anyone else interfere, either. I want you to face him, one-on-one. -on -one. I want you to be calm and use your own best judgment. At times, withdrawing can be the key that unlocks a future victory. Don't forget that. Understood. Oh, so just in a classic example of people a long time ago were way sweeter than they are now. Uh huh. Um. The well, we still for most of the chapter, Ike is the same. This next chapter oh. has two parts, okay. and in the second part, you get right now. That's. But, uh... So I probably still want to stash one of these cards. Probably, because... Or, I mean, when once you get Ragnar, I'll just let you stash the other one, I'm sure. But, oh, I'm dumb. It, it's fine. That's okay. fine. We still got our Regal Sword with 35 uses. Um, oh, but what I was going to say, a classic case of people long ago were way sweeter than people now. Uh-huh. Uh, the, uh, one of the original heroes who sealed the Dark God... 
Hmm. Like, they mentioned that Degincia was one of them. Yeah. One of them was a Bjork, and she held two swords, one in each hand, and one was a Landite, <laughs> and one was Ragnell. Sure. General Ike, please come with me. We're getting ready to have a war council and discuss tomorrow's battle. So the Black Knight's in that castle, is he? There's little doubt of it. That Bjork's a real handful. Even when I attacked him in cat form, I barely scratched him. His armor. Apparently blessed by the goddess. Ordinary weapons, natural or no, can't damage him. Oh, that's just swell. How are we supposed to defeat him? Angry looks? Leave that to me. I've got a sword that should be effective again. I don't like it, but I suppose there's no choice. We don't use weapons or shields. Those are Bjork tools for Bjork alone. I don't know why, though. Right. Like, even if he didn't transform, can you imagine giving Tybarn a big old sword? That'd be sweet. Like, he could just fly around and kill people. It'd be great. He'd be broken. Very well. If the villain in question appears, we'll leave him to General Ike. Now then, shall we determine who among us storms the castle? Ike, can I talk to you? Not right now, Mist. We're discussing battle strategy. I know that. Even so, please, it'll only take a moment. Mist, I promise I'll make time later. Be patient and wait quietly. Uh, um... What is it, oh beauteous one? I feel a bit dizzy. May I rest a moment? Oh, what foul deed is this that rears its head? The gods of war do charge a heavy toll. Bewitch us and attack our very minds. The princess, she is faint and are tired. Forgive your humble servant this trespass. Hark, my dear, and bless me with your arm. Good folk, we shall retire for a spell. Of course. Princess, please rest and allow us to proceed with these preparations. Thank you. I'm sorry. Valencia is such a homie. Mm hmm. What is it? Hmm. Come on, Mist. You realize the princess was making time for you to talk with me, don't you? Well, um, I thought I could talk to you later, but then I, 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 but then I changed my mind and wanted to talk to you now. I've been hoping to talk to you too. I haven't heard very much from you since the other day. Yeah, I'm sorry. When you told us that story, I was so shocked. That's why. The part about mother's death. And about father, right? Uh-huh. That's only natural. So, you've come to some kind of understanding with it all, is that it? At first, I couldn't believe it. The stuff about the medallion and the ri revival of the Dark God and all that, none of it, none of it sounded real. And everything about father, that was even more unbelievable. It was all I could think about, but... But I didn't want to think about it anymore. It made my head hurt. I didn't know what to do. I couldn't even sleep. I would just lie awake at night and stare at the tent walls. Yeah, I was the same way. I guess my body finally reached its limit. Last night, I fell asleep. And then when I woke up this morning, I don't know, it was all gone. I only had one emotion left. One emotion? What was it? Hard to say. Sympathy, I suppose. God, she's so pure. Right? If it were Ike, it would just be rage. Brr. We must charge them. For mother? Uh-huh. And for father. I think more for him than anyone else. Father and mother were in love, weren't they? And then the medallion, it made father go... What did you say? Berserk? When he returned himself, he found mother... When, when father died, it hurt so much. I thought I was gonna die. Father must have felt the same. No, he must have felt even worse. I think you're right. Father kept it all to himself, too. Mother, the medallion, being hunted. He never said a word to us. It's his burden alone. The man who killed Father was that night we saw in Port Toa, right? The one in black armor? Yes. You're gonna fight him, aren't you? For Father. I wonder what happens if you finish that chapter before the Black Knight shows up? Hmm. I wonder if that's even possible. Probably not. Yes, I am. It's one thing I won't let anyone else do in my stead. Trying to stop you is pointless. I know. If I were stronger, if I were a sword fighter, I'd be doing the same thing. 
dismissed. But you must keep your promise. You promised to leave the company in Father's place and to protect me. You go and get yourself killed, I'll never forgive you. I understand. That's why I'm not going to lose. I know. Oh. Oh. They had their little moment. Very nice. How are you feeling, princess? Uh, it was a lie. I'm not feeling unwell at all. I'm sorry I fooled you. I bet they all were totally fooled. Right. Ah, uh, I knew it all along. It was for Ike and Mist, was it not? It would appear, my dear princess, that you care for them greatly. I witnessed the death of both my father and mother. Soldiers fell one after the other, and then I, I was separated from Jeffrey. It was Ike and his friends who rescued me. Not for them, I am sure I'd be dead now. My lord Ike and Miss Two know the pain that I carry with me. The pain of losing one's parents in war. That may account for why the two of them, right from the beginning, were so warm and friendly. They gave me the support I needed to survive. Miss and I have continuously encouraged each other to go on. So... They rescued you and, your pa and are your patrons. There are those among the soldiers who complain in jealousy of Ike's station, but... It is a trivial matter. We, the retainers of House Crimea, find this general very much to our liking. Ah, Bastion. I'm pleased to hear it. Enough plain speaking. I must ready my silver tongue anew. Oh, shall boy. We, shall we return to the council? That was plain. Oh my god, Bastion. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What a goob. I like Bastion. Yo. You like him because he's gooby? <laughs> yes. Oh, chests. Oh, boy. Treasure. Oh. oh no, that's not treasure. Uh, Sir Knight, the Crimean army will renew their assault of the castle momentarily. How do you like that facial hair? Uh, yeah. <laughs> the troops we face are not the half-breeds we fought yesterday. It is the army that bested General Bertram. They are not what one would call an easy opponent. Hmm. Resolve it. I beg your pardon? Hafed, you are in command. The castle defenses are on your shoulders. I have a business with General Ina. Understood. How's that gotta feel? It's like, this army has killed two of the four riders, and the, one of the other ones just says, go handle this. Yeah, just take care of it. It's chill. Oh no, look at those thieves! We must kill them! Yep. The treasure is ours! Ours. We earned it by killing lots of people. Oh, I thought we just had, like, a divine god-given right to all treasure. I believe that's how RPGs work. Is everyone ready? Castle's strength has been bolstered with reinforcements from the capital. We must strike now before any more arrive. Black Knight appears. Don't try to engage him. He is mine. I will take care of him. Alright. So we lost seven units from, or nine units yeah, from the, last chapter. Because well, I think it was 19 last chapter. Yeah. Got the easy cut out of the way. Ah, uh, excuse me? <laughs> oh, wow. We're missing a lot of units. Yeah. I suppose we've got most of our core. Yeah, I want... It's like just some of the other people we're trying to train. The only one I want is Largo. Um, so who gets cut for Largo? Uh, we could cut Leafy just because, like... She doesn't need the experience. We're kind of going on the lots of... Or burn her resources plan. Mm -hmm. so. Alright, that works. Here. Oh. Save. Want someone to cut through those generals so they can kill the thieves. Like, oh, we need we need some keys or something. Oh, you're or right. A soth. We need Soth. Um... I know why, and it still makes me sad. Oh yeah, like... I love Jill. She's just our highest level you think. Yeah. Alright, where are these chests? Uh, there are a few in that main room, and there are some in each of these sealed rooms. Side. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a thief over there, too. Yeah. Um... We might rush this side, and then, like, range to pick off this guy. Uh, well, I think you can split up. I don't know if... Oh, sure. Like, Th send these aren't... half of our army in each one. These aren't, like, 
the most amounts of units. Yeah, like, if you gave her enough time, Mia could probably kill all three of those ones herself. Yes, we will do this by moving her into all of their range. Yeah. Um, I want Void for the Goose. I think he can move there. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Um, and then Neff can take out that assortment. Okay. Cool. We just need to be a little careful with Soth. Very vulnerable, but he'll be fine. He has a stiletto, dude. Relax. <laughs> he might even be able to damage the other thieves with that stiletto. <laughs> Thirty hours. We. That's so many. A few. I didn't know I was opting into a long video game. I think you did. Oh. Okay. Oh wow. Uh, it is a cat. I guess maybe we should have used Largo. But um. Hmm. Oh yeah, we could just finish off with Kieran. You probably want to leave the hand axe attack. Just oh, that that'll makes wear it sense. Down, then you'll kill before it can hit back. Yeah, you're right. These units hit relatively hard. Smart. One of these will hit. Crit. Never lucky. River. Oh, sure. So here's the hand exit code. Get on. Chop, chop. I like how it worked out that you needed to hit with exactly one of the hand axe to exactly kill with Mr. Choppy. Right. It's I probably just... wouldn't have attacked with Mr. Choppy if not for the, uh... You know what I'm talking about. Oh, the general. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm, I have a bad feeling about this sage that I just noticed. Probably have some nasties. Bolting! Bolting! That's rude. I think those guys will all be fine. 84% like, chance to hit. Like, if the general, the bolting, and that other cat all hit Boyd, he might be in trouble, but I think he'll be okay. Steel bow? What the fuck? Ridiculous. Yeah, that's what Reese is for. None of that nonsense. Hey, get him. Ooh, gambo. <laughs> Are you gambling? Oh, no, okay, I looked at the numbers wrong. I mean, that's still probably good, right? Well, this is worse. It is worse, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Yeah! Wow, that's like... It is the first character I've ever seen Gamble actually be good. Right. Like, usually their skill is just too low. Shout out to, uh... Swordmasters. Alright, Largo. Show us what you got. No! Oh, that's not world class. Now he's gonna crit. Yep. Yep. Called it. That is statistically likely. <laughs> yeah. In two attacks. I just wish it would statistically happen in the other order. Right. Everything's just a little too far away in this chapter. Uh... Oscar probably wants to go to the left. More quick to handle. Yeah, you're right. Like, Ike probably wants to go to the left. That makes good sense. Nice brain thinking. I do the thing. Probably don't need Mr. Slashy equipped, but... Uh... Nice. I don't really know where I need my mages right now. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I would send Soren, like, to the right to be back up on these generals. Yeah, that makes sense. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. We made a little soap pocket. We did. Run away. Ah. Uh, that did not have a very high chance to hit him. No. What's Boyd got? Like 30 avoid? Probably. We might need to give Oscar a better weapon. I was gonna say, maybe we need Bust. to give him Mr. Pokey. Oh, I was thinking just give him a Silver Lance. Ah, that too. We could forge a Silver Lance. 
I bet that wouldn't get really, really expensive. We have infinite money. <laughs> we do, and we didn't forge anything this time, so... Right. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Don't need gamble. No. I do love how, like, a lot of the time, Vantage just doesn't matter. But, like, right now, it's just the best thing that's ever happened. Right. I mean, they weren't going to hit her anyway, but... Did he? Yeah! Nice. That's oh, what man. he's supposed to do. Right? Oh, Vantage is so good. I don't even know if these generals move. We might just guard the door. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ow. No, oh, Mia! No. Mia, come on! Oh, hey. Now she can wield the vague caddy. It's probably worse than Mr. Slashy. <laughs> Alright. What's a general? We'll see. Boyd heard the part where you said that Largo was going to be better than Boyd and got really jealous. And so now he's just opening up. I'm going to store this and give the Silver Lance to Oscar. Okay. Does that mean we're exclusively using the Tomahawk now? Uh, if we need to use oh, wow. a ranged attack. Could have gone for a Luna trigger there. All right. No, oh, kill the thieves! Oh, he they're running in a bad way. Must not be allowed to steal. <laughs> what? Sick. <laughs> okay. Die. He could have just gotten away and instead chose not to. The silver blade. Yeah. <laughs> if we had crit, I would have felt silly. <laughs> oh, so close. Double bow? Is this like a brave bow? I think it's really heavy. Oh, this is but... the S bow. Oh, yeah. Why does that one have a lame name? Why does this bow suck? <laughs> Look at these stats. Oh, range four. Range four. Never mind. <laughs> That's that's some Fire Emblem 2 shit right there. Right. How far can your sniper shoot? Oh, five. Ooh. Get him. Finally using the Regal Sword. Right. Why do people even have units besides Ike and Mia? They can obviously handle everything. Uh, that's a darn good question. Oh, yeah. That said, our, our right side is not doing as well. Um... Well, I, th I think you want to make sure that you can clear all those out, because Soth is not. True. Okay. Because I'm done. Oscar might need to go handle that Swordmaster. Yeah. Oscar and Largo together might be able to bring him down. Oh, Oscar can handle Swordmasters. Wow. This is why I haven't been worried about uh, my I own guess. swords. I don't know. I always forget that, like, vulnerable type weapons are just, like, not good in this game. No, they're terrible in this game. Oh, man. Could Soth kill the general? No, but he can kill this thief. Maybe. No? <laughs> oh, crap. He definitely can't hurt the general. Yeah. Let alone deal seven damage. Oh yeah, this is the one that's at 7, you killed the one that was at 1. Okay. I was thinking he just needed to deal 1 damage. Uh, he wouldn't have been able to deal 1 no, damage. But... Get him, Largo. Get him. This one. <laughs> that wasn't excessive at all. Well, he had more uses left. Yeah. Uh... Largo is like, uh, he's like the only unit who gets up into those, uh, like, fates numbers. Like, a crit there would have dealt more than 100 damage. Right. I'm on a Physic Void. I was gonna Physic Mia. Oh yeah, Mia's, I forgot that Mia got hit. And Mia getting hit's bad. <laughs> right? She can't afford to get hit many times. They're all aggro this swordmaster. Over sword? That What's seems that? super free. Right? Uh yeah, he's a swordmaster. He'll just die. Okay. 
Sword Master. That one might be a little less free. Ooh, Brave Sword. Yeah. 24. What's defense like? 15. It hits for 9 for each of those. I don't love going. I guess we have Oscar. Yeah, like I figure Oscar will just kill that guy out pretty quickly. Um, I mean, yeah. you can just kind of have Boyd chill. He'll just soak up Voltings. Fair. Oh, he doesn't have a Vulnerary. Oh, no. Oh, wait. I wanted to meet meet Oscar and give him the Silver Lance. Yeah. A bet. Oh, no. He missed. Poor wait, guy. that still uses a use. I don't think that was a droppable wall time. Otherwise, we'd be incentivized to get in there. Pick it up. Yeah. God damn oh, it, Daphne. Is that Luna we've been talking we've about? We've been waiting on that for so long. <laughs> oh, dorky. Dorky? You're dorky. Oh. I believe both of these rooms have like a bunch of units waiting for you, so uh, be careful when you open the door. Yeah. This probably isn't gonna work. Good check. <laughs> Almost. Almost a one hit if we hit. <laughs> I enjoy this. I just love how Largo moves. He like shuffles strangely. Right. He's like a bear. <laughs> that is an apt comparison. He's a big dude. Send Neff over since she's got a door key and a chest key. I meant to the left. Oh, okay. Because that's the side without Soth. Those three can probably clear out a room without too much trouble. Oh, yeah, he can break the doors with Blizzard. That seems, that seems real practical. Like an excellent investment. Let's do it. You move far. I was gonna sing about the Boyd, but was it like do that too? She can. Oh man, if there were dark magic in the in this game, we could make Mrs. Spooky. <laughs> we need to play a better game. Right. Uh, Radiant Dawn has dark magic. I think there is one enemy who uses it, and you can get one ally who uses it, but not even on their first playthrough. Oh. Like you have to play through multiple times to get him. Sick. Oh, huh. brave weapons are heavy, but I guess not heavy enough. Mm -hmm. Dudes! Oh, scary dudes. The sages. Sages. Oh. Well, we're lucky, right? Uh. Let's say we should stop and examine our options a little more first. You mean such, like such as the option of Neff just, in the door? I was gonna, yeah, just hide behind Nephody. Like she can take it. All oh, the sages might never ever hit her. Yeah. I'm half tempted to. Oh wait. Okay. I was I was gonna say I'm half tempted to put Mia here to like get the sages to attack her. I don't know how smart that is. Let's do that with Ike. He's beefier. Yeah. Ike can take Yeah. I want to show. I forget, what boost does Reese give Mia? Because they've got an A support, so she's getting a lot of some stats. Hit. Attack and hit. Okay. Oh, attack is quite good. On a Swordmaster? Heck yeah. Yeah. If we were really good at this game, we would have looked up what the affinities give, so we could have done that all beforehand. Eh. Oh, he has an S and Axis. Oh, nice. That's I missed surprising. when I got that. Yeah. When do we get Basilicos? Oh, yeah, you opened, like, the whole back room. 
Oh. Like we can at least see what's back there. Which is a little Whoa. dangerous since it opened up another sage. Like, let's check out that other sage uh, to the right. Oh. Yeah. That's... Meteor. We need, we need Soth to stay right where Soth is. Right. He has a door key. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll have him start tanking. Yeah. And the... then assassinate the sage. Yeah, the cats aren't going to hurt him. I forgot the shape of this chapter. I wouldn't have had us, like, rush into this. That's fine. No, like, I think this will probably be fine. It's just not how I pictured this chapter going down. It's super free. In between Oscar and uh, Largo, we should be able to clear out the cats pretty easily, too. Mm -hmm. Oscar, or er, Largo hit for many days. I would put him one up and to the right so he can support Oscar. Yeah. But I want to give my silver lance. I mean, you can send Void in. That's fine. Large. I'm curious to see what this combat looks like. I expect. I expect kills. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why they're targeting Oscar now. They're far less likely to hit him than Boyd. Well, because he's got... Uh, oh, he's got the thing. He's got Provoke. Oh, so we don't actually need to worry about So You're right, I forgot. I also, I also forgot. forgot until the guy attacked. I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> they don't get a choice. We do not have a Provoke over there. Nope. We just have a squishy unit that they want to attack but can't hit. Yeah, right? Does she have more avoid than they have chance to hit? Probably not. Wow, Ooh. Thoron's intense. Yeah, right? I like the little, like, draw the circle of lightning. Uh-huh. Oh, man, this is so obnoxious. Right, when they just decide not to take damage. Yeah, so it's like, it's gonna take forever to cut through them and get back to the, the bolting sage. Oh. Good job, Oscar. Right? Overperforming. Oscar just wanted to set down the precedent of mediocrity real hard at the beginning, so he'd be super impressed the whole game. Right. Ow. <laughs> Alright. Sure. Steel Lance OP. Yeah. We accidentally give him the Killer Lance? Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Probably have Mia kill that f the Thoron Sage, and then Neff can run in and murder the Bolting one. Yep. I can mess up that general. Oh no, no one hit. Unless you gamble. We could gamble. <sighs> ah! Oh no! Dodge. There we yeah, go. Yeah, there we go. That was very likely to happen. Yes. Strength. Maybe she's capped on strength. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shucks. Aw, oh, dang. It was, <laughs> it was worth hoping for. Actually... I was gonna say, Neff might actually be better at killing this guy. Alright, we already knew that that wasn't... Well, maybe not, just strength is not that great. I think your odds are better with, of Ike critting or hitting Aether. You're right. Um, yeah, crit kills, so I think that's your best off. Or just... <laughs> so close. It's hard to, like, really quickly do the math of a soul and a Luna put together. Right. We might not have needed to bring Soth. Uh, yeah, there were more chest keys than I thought. Although there are a lot of chests on this map, so... Here. Dead. Very dead. But yeah, Oscar did the thing. He did. 
He did it very good. I'll say this side of the map was just doing well all the time. Boom. He doesn't need it because he crits. So. Yeah, right. Get him, Kieran. Get him. Hit him with your steel axe. Oh, well, convenient amount of damage. Right. Uh, and I think I'm gonna canto away from that bishop. Oh yeah, this is the chapter where we get like the best skill in the game. Oh, I can't go away. Bishop, that's whatever. Fine. Just get Oscar in near him, or or in front of him, then Oscar has to take. Oh, you're right. I don't even have to like move him forward. Yeah. Yes. Oh, but yeah, uh, someone can get resolve from this. Oh yeah, and you said that's the super busted one. Yeah, because it. It only works when you're below half, but it increases, I think, skill, speed, and strength by 50%. So they just become a stats monster. That's very silly. It's really good on people like Boyd or Largo, who are likely to get hit and- uh-oh. Uh-oh. <sighs> is this the end? I cannot die yet. Hate to do this, but I'm leaving. Alright, so let's see if we have enough keys. I think they gave us enough keys. There are, what, seven chests on this map? That's probably not enough. We probably don't have enough keys. Well, we'll look. Yeah, we'll look, but... <sighs> we can also, like, look up what's in the chest. Oh, and look up which hint, chest hint, has hint, which hint. one. Yeah, and find out if there's anything we can skip. So, they have, there's another key. So, okay, I can, yeah. I, I can look up which chest has what. There's a fortify, which is whatever. There's a spear, which is pretty good. We have exactly enough keys. Oh, we do? Cool. Yep. Um, there's a bolganon, which is just not a thing for a thoroughly skippable. A resolve scroll, we want that one. Yeah. A laguz axe, eh. Uh, a silver lance and a physic. Oh, that was even that guy's last use. Oh, we just got a little too frisky with him. So. I was so surprised that he didn't have to attack Oscar. I guess I must have moved too far away. Yeah. Oh well, that's fine. It's over now. It is over now. We Sorry, can... Soth. Sorry, Soth. Soth didn't even die. He ran away. Right. May he rest in peace. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, Oscar got hit, I guess. He doesn't seem to mind much, but he got hit. Oh, uh, we can probably Physic with Reese, actually. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, we can't. We're on the opposite side of the map. Oh, I forgot that Fortify is, like, actually weird. It's a staff, right? It's a staff, and it heals in a giant AoE around it. Pretty good. Yeah. Although we haven't even been using the Ashera staff, so... Oh yeah, does that have multiple uses? It has three, oh. and it just heals everyone on the whole map. Sure, so why not? We might want to get around to using that at some point. Yeah. Got more stats? Maybe. Yep. Jeez. Oh, that strength cap is so low. That's it's sad. It's so low. Alright, Ike. Wait, hold on. Ike doesn't need XP. He has all the stats that matter. Oh, we need to cap more stats. Do you not hear me? All the stats that matter. I want Ike to cap in magic so he can take the rune sword. Oh, oh is that a general that I didn't see? It is. He was I hiding beneath the wall. I assumed Ike was going to kill him, so I thought your whole speech was a little odd. I'm like, well, does it really matter which one Ike kills if you're just gonna have Ike kill him anyway? Oh, I honestly didn't realize I could get there. Ah, uh, Ike's a baller. Oh. Oh. Yeah, sure. Okay. Whatever, Ike. Give chest key. I'm surprised she can shove Ike. Mm -hmm. 
Wait, who is well, didn't we give her a statue frag? We did give her a statue frag, you're right. Kieran has a chest key. Oh wait, there are dudes to keep. Yeah, a significant number of dudes. Damn, I wanna handle them first. Meh. I wanna loot. Desire, I'm sure you can understand. Oh yes. I am on record. Alright, if we get crit here... I was gonna say that would does be... he have like a killer lance? He does, but it was fourteen percent chance to hit, twenty two percent chance to crit. The odds of getting crit there are not high, which is why I would have been upset. Yep. Uh -huh. Oh man, Mike probably isn't gonna cap an HP. No. Oh wait, I should have him close to Oscar. He's gonna be able to go visit that chest anyway. Yeah. I feel like Largo has kind of just taken over Boyd. <laughs> He's just our replacement Boyd. I don't know. Boyd was Boyding pretty hard earlier. You're right. Largo doesn't have vantage. No, he doesn't. Uh, I guess I'll do it. And even though he has the higher crit rate, he's not the one who was critting all the time, so... I guess I should use the Killer yeah, X. Yeah, I think the Killer X's odds are overall better. Mostly because he could be that. Yep. I was gonna say it's more likely to save damage. You have a short spear? No. All right. Get Mr. Yeah. Blowy done. Yeah. Ha! Cancelled. Nope. That has not mattered a single time. No, it's not. It's not been good. Oh man, does Largo have any abilities right now? Oh. 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 You know who's really good at going below half, but not actually being in danger? Fargo? Yeah. Cause he can chill at 27. Yeah, and be fine. Kitty? Ow. Oh, Oscar's like, lower than I thought. Yeah, it's because I keep putting him in danger and not healing him. <laughs> yep. Cause he's invincible. When you do both of those things at the same time, he, his health will get lower. Vex. Time to start looting. Yes. Very important. I don't think there's another treasure chapter in this game. Uh, no, there shouldn't be. And even if there were, we could just bring Ooh. Thork. Oh yeah, you're right, we have another thief. Yeah. We just happened to lose the thief we brought. Yeah. Hey. A nice... Thing. Mm -hmm. We will almost certainly not use it at all. Okay. Oh wait, does anyone else here have a oh, hand check? They locked me out of the menus. Weird. Well, see, I was gonna say that you, if you just put him like in, in front, in between the two chests, someone could trade and then open the other one. Oh, I'm a dummy. <laughs> I think we're gonna be okay on this chapter. Hmm. Maybe. Silver. Uh -oh. What? Ow. What does the number 92 mean? That, like, almost 1 in 10 times you're gonna miss? Uh, Fire Evil works. Largo! Largo! Largo. He has too much speed to be a good resolve unit. <laughs> He's gonna cap a bunch of stats. Yeah. Well, I imagine his strength cap is 30. Yeah. Might want to move up. I don't know if they have longbows. Just in case. They're not gonna be able to hurt him if they have longbows. You're but right. You're right. Still want to move him back so he can get healed. Mm -hmm. I feel like Soren has spent most of this game as a heal bot. Since we promoted him, yeah. Yeah. Because Ilyana's kind of better at doing what he does. Oh, well, yeah, we gave her every stat boost item in the game. <laughs> Shh, relax, dude. <laughs> we really brute forced Ilyana being a good unit. I don't mind. I like Ilyana, but... Yeah, don't be a whiner. <laughs> I, I just... I don't think she would have been very powerful if we just went with the defaults. Probably not. Gonna heal Largo? Not when he's not in any danger. What do we get? 
Bulganon. That's garbage. Dude, but imagine how much money we'll get if we sell, like, the Bulgan. I think we've got sell two Bulganons and a Meteor. Sell all the fire garbage? Yeah. There's a door. Does anyone else have a door key? I think no. That's good. It's not helpful for right now. That doesn't that doesn't assist us in our quest. Yeah, he's got provoke. Oh. What? Oh, just like I'm not sure why. Because I want to kill this guy with me. Oh, okay. I want to kill one of these guys with me. Then that is a good why. Perfect. Yep. We needed that. Oh, okay. I was accounting for that. Okay, cool. Crits? Yeah. Oh, Damn. we are not getting hurt. Oh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. I can tell I've been playing too much Fire Emblem Heroes because I keep wanting to be like, oh, we'll have Reese go over and rally defense on Soren so he'll avoid dying. It's like, oh, right. that's not how this game works. Oh, we need to arrive. We don't need to seize. Oh, that makes sense. I mean, I don't know anything about the structure of this chapter. <laughs> I've just gotten less and less cryptic while talking about it. Right. Yep. Yep. About how I expect that to go. Yep. I'm always scared that provoke just won't work. Right. Uh, it hasn't failed us yet. It has not. Except for when I moved him out of range. I don't think that's Provoke's fault. Hey, what are you trying to say? <laughs> that Provoke did what it's supposed to? A an enemy who could not attack Oscar did not attack Oscar? You're a bigot. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'll go through, like, a re-education course or something? Excellent. All I could have asked for. Big One man. shot? Way excessive one shot. Void might cap on health. He will probably cap on health. Oh yeah, he's only turned 13 here, yes. No speed, of course. No. Why would he get speed? I don't know. That'd be silly. Alright, Mr. Blowy. Hey, I found all the adept triggers that didn't happen when we wanted them to. Okay, they were right here. The yep. whole time. They were waiting in chapter 27. Yup. Hey. hey. The cap? I think no. magic cap is probably 30. Oh, interesting. Or sages. It usually is. Wait. That was not how I was going to go about doing this, but I was just having a trade with Oscar. I, I keep forgetting you could do that, okay? Relax. <laughs> oh, there's another physic in case we needed one. Yeah, right? Well, Soren can probably actually use it now. Alright, fine. I'll use your dumb trade mechanic. What is this, Fire Emblem 4? We just can't trade? The only way to move items around is to sell it to the shopkeep and buy it back for twice as much? Heck yeah. Alright, we got the stuff. We got the stuff. Looting complete. Let's kill this idiot. Argo! <laughs> Look at how his legs move when he <laughs> runs. It's so silly. Brave Lance. Brave Lance. That's not a very good That's combat. That's an awful combat. Let's not do that. Yeah. Alright, Largo, you're fired. Could harass him down with ranged attacks and then just have Neff stab him. Uh, if not for a whim of his majesty, I would not be facing you here. For a warrior, meeting a powerful foe is a joy above all others. And for this I give thanks to the king. Oh, his, his tone changed there. Yeah. Now let us enjoy the gift that we have been given. 
There, there's your gift. Yep. I'm gonna hit you with my idiots. Oh no, oh no. Good shove her. Good shove her. I don't really have a good shove her. Um... Who do I want to get the X? Probably not Neff. Oscar's even higher than she. Yeah, but he has stats to increase. Yeah. Largo. Largo have a ranged option. Yeah. Yeah, he can short axe this pool. Probably won't kill with short axe. No, so we wanna. Yeah, you wanna poke him? Oh. She didn't kill him. Uh, if she gets a Luna trigger, she will. Ow. Oh, yeah. nice. Sweet. Now we need Largo to not miss. Yeah. Well, he's got two shots, and even if he does, Oscar can javel in this one. Yeah, ball. clean it up. Cool. Sweet. It appears this is the end. Ah. Ugh. Ah. When we got Largo, he was so underleveled that I was, like, a little iffy on using him. Oh, we got another occult. Oh, boy. And at first I was, like, worried that we weren't going to get enough occults, because, like, one is just, like, super earmarked for Ike. Yeah. And then... We got four. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually curious. The... What does a physic take? Oh, um. C. Okay. Thorn might end up. I didn't miss anything. I didn't miss. Oh. Cool. Gonna make all our viewers throw up. Sorry, viewers. <laughs> Motion sickness. Cleared the map. Cleared the map. It's over. We cleared that map. The one I seek is behind these doors. Don't follow me. I'm going in alone. Ike, wait, I'm going with... No, Soren. We have to let Ike go alone. The Black Knight is his. Are you sure we couldn't send, like, Nephany and Largo? <laughs> Defeating him is a crucial step that Ike must take in order to truly get over the death of his father. Idiocy! I'll hear no more of this naive nonsense. What if something happens to him? What then? I think Ike has gained the composure to keep calm and judge whether or not he can match an opponent. If, in fact, he can't, it means he's reached his full potential. That's all there is to him. We just have to accept that. But I believe in Ike. I trust him. His life is not his alone any longer. I don't believe he's so irresponsible as to leave his companions behind by choosing to engage in a contest he cannot win. Please, Soren, you must feel the same way, don't you? I don't like it. Sometimes bravery and good judgment aren't enough. Commander Grail, watch over your son. Although it is funny that, like, just the way the game is shaken out, like, Ike is literally the only person in our army who can hurt the Black Knight. So, like, right. even if everyone came with, it just wouldn't. They could body block or something. I, I mean, that's, like, a legitimate thing that comes up in against Ashnard. Uh. Is he'll just be like, okay, the combat didn't go well. I guess I surround Ashnard with people so he can't kill Ike this time. <laughs> Why did you return to Crimea? You had the perfect opportunity to escape. I'm going to the capital. Is the Black Knight holding his cape? It looks like it. That's Why? That's kind of whack. No, you are not. The king has ordered me to put an end to you. That's not true. That's a lie. Right? I thought as much. So be it. I am prepared. Will you not resist? I do not believe I could prevail against one of your power. Right. How extremely frank. My only wish was to be beside the one I love. If that is not to be, then it matters not what happens to me. As my la last act of compassion, I shall make your end a swift and merciful one. Do you have any final words? See Nas Nasir. Tell him that Eno was sorry. If I have the opportunity, I will so tell him. Rest in peace. Oh no. My love. Turn and face me, Black Knight. Oomph. I've been waiting for you, child. Get hyped. He talks to himself. Ah, did you kill that girl? 
This makes up for all the Titania Soren, right? Despite my promise, the blow was not clean. She breathes still. Amateur. I'll take her. You'll have to do so by force. You have brought the sacred sword Ragnell, did you not? It's right here. If using it is the only condition I need to fulfill to defeat you, I will not hesitate. It appears you've grown smarter. Good. There's no challenge in killing a fool. Shall we begin? Brother! Mist? No! Stay back! I... I will fight you. I'll never let you kill my brother. Mist, you... Ewain's daughter, eh? Good. Now I can pull out the entire family tree by the root. You're not to interfere, Mist. This craven wretch is mine. <clears throat> Do as you will. This time we begin in earnest. Oh no. Yeah. Alright. So this man moves. Yeah. He's Very powerful. The Londite give many defense. Does this let me... Okay, cool. Yeah, you can just have Miss leave. We're gonna get her out of here. I'm so sorry, Ike. I'm of no help at all. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's just accurate. Sorry, you're a level one cleric without anything. Alright, I have a rag now. Yeah. Um, we're gonna oh. move in and equip it. What's up? Oh, just, if you take too long on this chapter, other enemies appear. Oh. I think it takes, like, three or four turns, though, and the, okay. the fight's over, unless you just, like, try to run away. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's just try to, try to get lucky. Yeah. What an odd fate. This will be the third time I've defeated you. The first was in the forest of Gallia, the second at Delbre, Crimea. We've met twice, and I've lost twice. But the third time will be different. This time will be different. Uh, my sword fighting skills were given to me by my father. If I stay true to them, I cannot lose. Did you never think that using your father's techniques on the man who killed him would be futile? My father robbed himself of using his stronger arm. If he had, he would, no lo he would not have lost to the likes of you. Ah, you think so? Let us test your stronger arm, then. Come, son of Gawain, show me your strength. Bill, we made a terrible error. What's that? We didn't turn on combat animations. Right? Oh, oh there's the Aether. Oh no, we missed the Aether. What? Oh. The uh, Luna half can miss? Apparently. I didn't know that that's right. how that works. Let's make this maximum hype, get yeah. those animations on. Especially because we need to trigger that again. Oh wait, uh... The thing is, like, I think you're okay attacking again, because he hits for 19. Yeah. So two hits isn't going to kill you. And, like, if he triggers Luna, I think you're just gonna die anyway. Oh, because 29, so that'll take it down to 14. Yeah, so that's an extra 15 so. damage. So, okay, he'll only hit for 34 if so you just actually, pass and he Lunas you. Yeah, so I guess we should just end. Yeah. Alright. The problem is, we don't know when the other enemies spawn, and, like, right. this will just take way too long. We, it'll take, like, 20 turns to kill him. Animations! And we only have three elixirs, so... We just have to get lucky, dude. Ow. God, that is a fucking swing. Yeah. Oh. oh, God. It was faster than I thought. Protect the Black Knight! Do not interfere. This man is my prey. I need no help. Uh, yes, sir. Understood. Oh, yeah, I think... I think they might just, like, attack Mist. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we're gonna do what we can and hope that it works out. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll get Aether and Luna won't miss. That'd be tight. Right? We haven't gotten Luna yet. Oh my god! We have a higher chance to hit than he does! <laughs> We've missed twice! Right? Oh yeah, they won't attack us. So wait, did we establish... A Luna will kill you, but you only have three elixirs, so like, I think you just have to pass here. Like, we can't heal for 19 every time. That's not a winning strat. Yeah, you're right. Uh. <laughs> He's the Black Knight, that's for sure. Yeah. No, Luna, please. Okay. Alright, I think now we have to use the elixir. Yeah, you definitely. 
Okay. Back to full. Yeah. Try this again. Oh, it's kind of funny. I knew the units appeared, but I didn't know that they actually listen to the Black Knight and don't fight Ike. Right? That's kind of cool. Can we continue to be kind of lucky? Well, sort of. Kind of. We hit him. Yeah. Ooh, level up. Skill? Skill, Skill please. Oh, come on, Ike. Oh. Oh. Ike. That Unisir? What are you doing here? Ike, I'll take over from here. Hurry and leave this place. You know I can't do that. Besides, the Black Knight can't be defeated. Not without this blade. Ike, I cannot allow you to die here. Please, take care of the girl, Ina. Oh, God, does it end the chapter here? Nasir, I didn't expect to see you here. What a fool. Yeah, I think it's gonna just end the chapter. Ah. Ah, Nasir. Oh my, that's a new animation. Mm -hmm. I think we might just want to roll with it. Like, the amount of RNG required to succeed at this seems absurd. Yeah, it's just that, like, basically, Nasir is a really useful unit, and Ina is not. Mm. Um, we got enough good units. Okay. Ugh. Yet that's not nearly enough. It's basically... Are you satisfied with a story where Ike doesn't kill the Black Knight? Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna take the L. I'm gonna blame shitty game design on this one. Uh, this fight is stupid. Yeah. What's this? It can't be. This entire castle. I. Uh, I can't move. This can't be happening. Ike, now's your chance. Take Ina. Take care of Ina. Nasir. See her. Uh, look to Fire Emblem Fates for an example of how to do this and make it not shitty. Ah. Because both of the major routes end in a duel between the main lord and a very powerful rival. Mm. And both times they give you a way to end the chapter, like, without winning the duel. Mm. Well, like, that's kind of what happened here, right? Sort of, but, like, you get. It's more like you help her and you still defeat the enemy. Okay. Or him or. Um, as opposed to, like, just the game just says, okay, shut off the chapter now. Mm. Like, we would have won that War of Attrition, I think. Yeah, but the game's like, nope. Nope. Ike, she's awake. Good. How are you feeling? Where am I? In our camp. You saved me, didn't you? Why? Because Nasir asked me to. What? Where is he? I, I must speak to him. Nasir is dead. What? He protected me and engaged the Black Knight. The castle fell around them both. That... so... So, it wasn't a dream. Just who... who were you to him? Why were you serving King Dayan? I am Ina. He, Nasir, was my grandfather. You're Nasir's... Nasir's oh. You're Nasir's granddaughter? I'm the dragon, not the dude. Right? It seems impossible for Bjork to believe it. But we of the Dragon Tribe lives for thousands of years. Once we reach a certain maturity, we show no further outward signs of aging. I don't know, Degincia is still looking pretty... Right, old. he looks elderly. A thousand years? I can't begin to imagine. And, um, about Nasir. You must be aware that he betrayed you. And yet you saved me. I, who had once been your enemy. Why? Nasir helped us time and again. No matter what, I couldn't see him as a true enemy. There are reasons for all this. Would you tell me about them? I'd like to help in Nasir's stead. I... I can't tell you now. It's not the answer I was hoping for. However, in payment of my debt to you, I can provide information. I'll tell you where the pr Heron Princess is being held. Ah, that's a good start. Tidbits. Okay, got right. through chapter 27 one way or another. Yep. Talk to you all next time.